hey guys welcome back to the channel now i had this interesting theory that i cooked up just a few minutes ago so this hasn't been researched that much so bear with me if i miss anything but this theory is in regards to boruto and his current situation with momoshiki now as we all know momoshiki's soul is stored within boruto through the power of karma and they alluded to it being similar to data like how you store data on a storage device and you can extract it onto another you know storage device or let's say you download a file from the internet a zip folder and you use the winwar application to extract the data within that file onto the computer so that's the entire process of karma really and boruto is currently at 80 percent extraction right so that's basically the situation he's in but another clue we had is that even though it's similar to the process of data transfer it's also similar to the process of being possessed so even though it's just data being copied over boruto still can be possessed by the soul of momoshiki it's not that his soul hasn't been like um regenerated fully so he can't take over boruto's body no we know that momoshiki's soul is fully intact and fully operable within boruto right we see him in his physical manif manifestation in inside boruto's mindscape and he's able to take over boruto's body so there is a soul a spiritual being within boruto separate from boruto's own consciousness so due to that, I came to the conclusion that what if, or came, came up with a theory that what if, um, let's say someone with the power of the Renegon, we know that Sasuke lost his Renegon, it's highly possible there are multiple ways in which he can get the Renegon back. It's really up to the writers whether they want to give it to him, which is why it's, it's kind of iffy and it's kind of tricky with the writing when it comes to the Boruto series because a lot of things can happen because a lot of rules have been broken in the past in Shippuden, so it's not like they can just act like those rules are still in place because they're not so whether it be a scientifically engineered renegon or you know an organic renegon created by orochimaru there are multiple ways in which sasuke can regain renegon you also have the option of infusing him with naruto's cells which is still powered by ashura's you know chakra so naruto can still awaken the renegon within sasuke by merging the chakra of indra and ashura which was illustrated by Madara Uchiha, which is how he unlocked it in the first place. So there are multiple ways in which Sasuke can get the Renegon back. It's really up to them. So let's say he does have the Renegon or somebody else unlocks the Renegon. What if they can use the human path to rip the soul of Momoshiki from Boruto's body? So based on what we know, the human path grants the Renegon user or a Renegon user the ability to read the mind of any target by placing his hand on the target's head or chest and yanking the soul out of the body. Now this inevitably kills the target. Now what if they can control this power and, inst and instead target a specific soul within a specific body? Right, so let's say if Boruto has two souls within his body, his soul and Momoshiki's soul. What if this Renegon user can just rip out Momoshiki's soul by searching for it as they said by resting his hand on top of Boruto's head and ripping Momoshiki's soul from his body. This will leave Boruto with the karma seal and the power to use karma without Momoshiki's interference which is similar to the position Kawaki is currently in and the position he'll be in in the, in the time skip, the post time skip timeline we saw at the beginning of the series where Kawaki is using the power and as we know now Ishiki is already dead so it could be a case where this is how um, they save Boruto by ripping the soul of Momoshiki out of his body whether it be with the human path or whether it be with some Uzumaki sealing jutsu or extraction jutsu similar to the um, what's it called again the, de the demon the death reaper yes the death reaper seal e even using the death reaper seal right they could in theory use the death reaper seal to rip Momoshiki's soul from Boruto's body similar to how uh, the third Okage tried to rip Orochimaru's soul from his body so it's, it's just a matter of precision and control and it's something that can be learned and, and, and thought because you know if they can you know rip the soul from someone's body they should be able to select the soul that they're trying to extract right so it's just a matter of how the, the Boruto riders use um, the powers already established in, in the series and that's a big problem it's them not using the powers already established in the series right they're used creating other abilities and, and forgetting about other abilities and that's a problem you know when you have other abilities that can solve certain problems and you're not using them so i really wish they touch on the uzumaki clan and some 
OP seal into Sumeru, I'll do a video on it, but I think the, the Uzumaki clan has been neglected for far too long, bro. Even in the original Naruto series, Naruto Shippuden, like the Uzumaki clan needs some spotlight. We need more information on the clan. We need to know what they're up to. We know we need to know where they are in the world because it's not like Naruto is the only Uzumaki and Karin, apart from the kids. There are other Uzumakis in the world because they were spread out all over the world. They all weren't wiped out, you know, so we need to know what's going on and, we, you know, it could be the possible solution to what's going on with Boruto right now. So that's it for the video, guys. If you like the video, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Um, what you think about the Uzumaki thing? Do they need to, you know, focus more on the Uzumaki clan? Give us more, you know, information on them and where and their whereabouts and what they're up to. And um, do you think this is a possible solution to Boruto's situation with the extraction of the soul of Umashiki? Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, drop a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.